Okay, today I'd like to show a little project that I've been working on. It's a motorized bead roller. The original bead roller that I bought many, many years ago had a hand crank on it. And I wasn't always able to have my helper handy to, to crank it when I wanted to roll some beads into a panel. So I looked on YouTube and there are several videos showing how to motorize one of these older units. And it's really fairly straightforward. Uh, you use a motor that I sourced from Harbor Freight. It's for an ATV winch or a trailer winch, something of that sort. And a few components, uh, a power supply, a controller, and a foot pedal that you can source off eBay. So the first thing that I had to do was modify the coupler that uh, comes with the winch. The, this is the original spool that uh, uh, the wire uh, rolled up onto. And so I turned it down and, and uh, I used the, the same uh, gear that's on the inside of it to drive the, uh, the, this roller, this shaft here. This shaft is fixed. Uh, does not move so that doesn't put the motor in a bind this this shaft is uh, able to move up and down in order for you to put material in between the rollers so uh, the power supply converts 110 AC into 12 volts DC uh, most of the videos said you only need a 20 amp uh, unit but I bought uh, a 30 amp just to be on the safe side and I doubt that this draws near that, uh, probably uh, maybe 10 amps max. The uh, controller will allow you to uh, run the rollers in either direction. You can uh, go forward or reverse, and then you have a speed control here. So basically, uh, you just set the speed that you want uh, here. trigger the pedal and you're off to the races. Now you can speed it up or slow it way down. So if you're going around corners and you want to uh, slow down to do a better job, uh, you just need to stop what you're doing, adjust the uh, uh, range down, and then continue on with your bead. Uh, probably all total, in this, I've got maybe a hundred dollars, roughly. I think this item was like uh, uh, twenty or twenty-five dollars. This was another uh, fifteen or or twenty dollars or so. Uh, the uh, the foot pedal was uh, like ten dollars. Now, the foot pedal is not the kind that, like an accelerator, that you can vary the speed with the pedal. It's just strictly on and off. So I wired it in to the switch here, the switch has a center position for off, and so I wired it into the, this switch to be able to uh, take advantage of the, the mechanism that's built into the, or the electronics rather, that are built into the controller, and that way I don't have to have a real uh, high wattage rated uh, pedal to, to uh, control the motor. So anyway, uh, this all worked out really well. Uh, Going forward, I should be able to uh, roll beads. I've done a few already at test beads, and it, uh, it works really great. doesn't even grunt or anything. just carries on. So that's the, that's the project for today that's complete.